Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff back again with a bit of festive cheer. And why not? We're almost at Christmas. I think by the time this hits YouTube, we we'll only have about five days to go and Rudolph and Santa will be on their way. Who can't love Christmas? It's a wonderful time of year. And I thought, the same as I did last year, Let's do a Christmas tune. <laughs> yeah. And it's not about sausage rolls. If you're in England, you'll get that one. This was to... When I heard this song, obviously I was very young when this came out. This really was Christmas. Christmas didn't start until I heard this song. Once I got it, that was it. Christmas was started. Time to enjoy yourself. I believe in Father Christmas by Great Day. Just sets the imagination off, doesn't it? Just a wonderful song. And the way he built that song up, the orchestration behind it, the drums. Oh, it was heaven. It was. Remember, this came out long before Fairy Tale of New York and long before Michael Bublé controlled Christmas. I'm going to show you how to play this song. It's not too hard. Yes, it's a finger style song, but it isn't too hard. You can take it nice and slow and build it all up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll show you how to play all the chorus, pre verses, the pre-chorus, and also that wonderful little instrumental part that really does say Christmas to us. Also at this stage, before we get into it, because I know not all of you are going to stay right to the end. I know. But I just want to wish everybody out there, subscribers, anybody who's tuned in, anybody who knows me, I just want to wish everybody a very, very Merry Christmas. I really hope you're going to enjoy this year. And of course, a Happy New Year. And we are welcoming in 2020. Another decade gone by and another year older for me. But it's been a great year and the amount of support I've had from everybody out there on youtube land is being superb still would like to get more subscribers so if you are new just click on that button let's get up there let me let's get to just ten thousand as quickly as we can anyway enough of me rattling on even though it is festive this year let's get into the song and let me show you how to play i believe in father christmas so don't go away preview Now, before we get started, what we have to do, we have to tune the guitar down to a drop D. So your low E string, just tune it down to a D note. The rest of it is going to be A, D, G, B, and E. Standard tuning after that. Just gives us that low pedal, because this, this song is actually played across a D major. Now, we are going to be taking a pattern, just moving down between the G and the D string, hitting two notes together. And then we're going to be pedaling across the open D string. So the pattern that we've got is this. We start off with 11 on the G string and 10 on the high E string. I'm going to pluck both them notes together. Now, what I do, I use my thumb and I use my first finger. So we play, then we're going to hit the open D string, then we're going to play, uh, we're going to put our little finger on the 12th fret on the E string, we're going to pick them two together and then we're going to pull off the 12 to the 10, we get this, and then we finish with a D. Now that pattern you're going to be playing continually through this song as we work down the different positions on that fretboard. So what I would recommend is just get used to playing that. Getting that, once you get that locked in, that movement between the two fingers to the D, to the two fingers back to the D, you're in a good position. Now from that one there, we are going to move down and we're going to switch our fingers that we're holding. And I use my two and my... Uh... 
Yeah, just wanted to check. I use my second and my third finger on nine on the G and nine on the high E. And we're gonna pull in the 10 to the nine on that. So we've so far we've got Your second movement now keeping that position we're going to move down two frets down to the seven and seven but this time we're going to pull in the ninth fret so we get and we move down to six and five six on the g five on the b and we bring it in the seven to the five move down and we're going to play four to the three and we bring it in the uh, five to the three move down now to the two two again we're switching our fingers across to the two and the three string and we're going to play two two and we're going to pull in that uh, third fret to the second so we put that all together we get From there, we are going to play open string G and E to the D, and then we're going to go back and we're going to put our second finger on the G string, and we're going to play that G and the um, second on the G to the open E. We're going to play that back to the D string, back to the G and the B, back to the D, back to the G. And then we're going to move back up to the four and the three on the G and B, and we're going to play that back to the two two. And from there, we have got the open string back to the D. Now this time, we are going to put two and two together, and we're going to play. So we play the G on the second fret, open string, and we're gonna do a 0 2 on that high E string. And then back to the uh, D string, and we're gonna play a D, and then back, then we're gonna play the low D string, which is your original E string. So we get a, that's the final one. So again, let's go through that whole thing because you, you, you know, in the sense you can't see this enough times just to follow it through. So. I'm going to play that three more times. So we're going to play that. And that takes us to the end of the intro section. So I'll do now, I'm just going to play you through the verse section, then I'll break it down. Playing there, now this is a bit easier, this one, because we're just pedaling alternate. There's no little pull-offs in this one. Uh, so we start it off on four on the G and three on the B, and we're gonna play that, and then we do the pedal on the D, back again, and back to the D. Then we're gonna switch across and play two and two across the G and B, and the same thing, so it's gonna be Then we're going to go open string and do the same thing twice. Then we put our finger back onto the second fret of the G string and play an open E string. We do this once. Then we drop our second finger down onto the high E string 
and we're going to play that one. Then we go back to the four and three and play that twice. Down to the two and two, play that twice. Now this time, slight variation, but it's based around the same thing. We start off with the open string to the D, then we do the two, and then the two and two together, and then we do two on the G, back to the open D, and we repeat that whole line again. So we go back to So that is the verse section. Now we're going to head towards the pre-chorus section. So I'll play through the first part of the pre-chorus section. So what we do this time, we're going to put our finger on five on the G string going to three, and we're going to again pedal across that D string so we get this. Then we move down to the four on the G, twice, move down to this, we see there's the D position, so it's two and two, and we do that twice. Then we do an open G and D once, and then to the two, two, back again. And then we repeat, going back up to that five and three, twice, three and four, twice. Then we've got the two once, so it's two, two. Open string, once, two, two, once. And then it's O, two, O. That's the first part. Now, let me play the second part. This time we've moved up to seven on the G and five on the E string. We're gonna play again with that pedal. So we do this twice, the seven and five. Then we do six, so we move down one fret, we go six and five, six and five twice. Move down two frets to the four and three twice. And then to the two, two, ones. And then going to the D, but then we do a two all. So that bar, let me just do that one. Now we stay on the two and we do it twice. Then we go to open and we do that twice. Back to the two. Now this time when we play that, so we're doing two, D, two, D, hit that long D string. So that final part, I'll just get, go through that. So that is the pre-chorus. Now we would go to the solo section. Okay, let me just play this uh, solo through. Really, it's such a great Christmas little melody line. So our first phrase is this. So what we're playing there, we're doing 10 on the B, 10 on the high E, 9 on the E, 7, 9, 10, and then back to the 7. Then we do 10 on the B, so 7 on the high E, seven on the B to the 10 on the B. Next phrase is this. 
So we are playing seven back on the high E to ten on the B, eight on the B, to ten on the high E, to nine, to ten, finishing on ten B. Next phrase. So we play that, we go in eight on the B string to seven, nine on the D, G, skip over to the seven on the high E, down to 10 on the B, to eight on the B, back to the 10, to eight, to seven, to eight, to the 10. Quite a bit of a workout there on that B string, but we go. And the final one. And all we're playing there is on the high E string, we're doing 10 to the 7. To the 8 on the B, 7. Back to the 8, to the 10, 10 again. And I'm finishing on the 7. Now at this point, we've actually covered all of the parts that Greg Lake plays through this song because from there it would go back to a verse, it would go back to the pre chorus, and then we've got another guitar solo, we've got that another little piece, and then it goes back to another verse, goes to another chorus, and that just takes us to the fade. Of course, the whole song gets bigger and bigger, a lot more orchestrations coming there, the big drums, the big orchestra that really make this a fun song. But as far as what we're doing, we're playing the line that was played by Greg Lake. That it is all covered. And what I thought might be fun is to play a backing track for you, to create a backing track for you that has a second guitar because there are two guitars playing this song. So what I thought would be fun is to actually record a backing track for you and you can play along with the backing track and do your nice little solo in the middle with that harmonized guitar there for you. So you will find the link for that down below. So you're going to have a, a very, very Merry Christmas playing along, learning to do Greg, uh, Greg Lake, Greg how? <laughs> Wrong band. Greg Lake's great little song here. Uh, and just have fun with that backing track and really hear the harmonies coming out through that. Well, I am going to let you go and get on and learn how to play this wonderful song but before i go i just want to wish every one of you out there a very very happy merry christmas and i hope you all have a wonderful new year and i look forward to seeing you all again in 2020 until then goodbye